that's out there. This is the proper sign that you have to put up if you don't want people coming into your business with a gun. All right, but now what I want everybody to remember, you still have the right to go in and ask for permission with places that have the proper signs. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and as you can see here behind me, we are gonna be talking about proper signage, okay? And when I mean proper signage, I mean everything that we're about to go over better match. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so if you're a business out there, this is the proper sign that you have to put up if you don't want people coming into your business with a gun. All right, but now what I want everybody to remember, you still have the right to go in and ask for permission with places that have the proper signs. Now, when I say proper signs, I mean everything here better have a check mark next to it. And when I say better have a check mark next to it is every I better be dotted and every T better be crossed. If it is off by one letter, one color, or one freaking millimeter, it voids that sign and every other sign. So it's got to be on every entrance and exit of the building. So that means if your business has 100 doors, there better be 100 signs. Yes, every door, whether consumers of that business use the doors or not, better have a sign on it. Emergency exit, fire exits, bay doors, all that stuff. Now, with, say, bay doors for shipments and deliveries, or if you prop some of your doors open, that sign might not need to be on that door. It might need to be next to it. Now, next to it within reason. <laughs> all right? Six to 12 inches, I would say. The other thing, if I have two bay doors, so if I have two bay doors and there is one sign in the middle of both of those doors that is invalid. Every door has to have a sign. So if I have two bay doors and one pillar in the middle, there better be two signs on that pillar. Because if those bay doors are open or if the door is propped open, that's not clearly visible from the outside. Then it's gotta be eight by 12, not eight and a half by 11 out of your standard copiers and printers, eight by 12. There's no give or take on the size or any of this. It has to be this exact. Now, stickers are not valid. What I mean is, is each individual piece is peeled off and stuck up there. I've got some examples here that we're gonna go through so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and have a better understanding of these signs. Then I'm gonna have one inch black letters, no concealable weapons allowed. It's gotta be that verbiage exact. There is no give or take on that verbiage. Not no concealed weapon allowed or no concealed weapons or no concealable weapons. It's got to be this verbiage exact and one inch exact. Black letters exact. There's no give or take. If one thing is off, everything is off. Then right here, I'm gonna have a seven inch circle. The lines on the circle, red or black, with a line from lower left to upper right, 45 degrees from horizontal, that line, red or black. And then inside that, I will have a black silhouette of a handgun, 40 to 60 inches from the bottom of the entrance. So we're talking three to five feet off the bottom of the entrance. It is a black silhouette of a handgun. I've had people say, oh, it's a revolver, it's not valid. No, what are your two handguns? Hand, or pistols, revolvers, or semi-automatics revolvers. Those are your two handguns. So, as long as it is inside the circle, everything up here has to match. There is no give or take, meaning if you go somewhere to have these made and they had too much to drink at lunchtime and left that S off of weapons, 
That's not going to kick anything in spell check because weapon is still spelled correctly. But that one letter missing voids everything. And people can still go into your business with their gun on. They don't have to ask for permission. But again, you still have the right to ask them to leave or go put it back in their vehicle. Yes, I'm going to beat the dead horse. Everything has to match. Everything has to match. I's dotted, T's crossed, lines under. Now, real quick before we move on, the no concealable weapons allowed. That covers the business whether you conceal carry or open carry. Because again, like I've said in some of my other videos, once you get your permit here in the state of South Carolina, you can conceal carry or open carry. So that verbiage covers that business whether you conceal carry or open carry. Now, outside events, okay? So fairs, circus, parades, you know, maybe a festival in the park or in a parking lot somewhere, they have to have proper signs. Your parks do not fall under the permission thing in my other video, all right? If you wanna go in and check that out, I've got a video where you can go in and find out where you can get permission. But it's publicly owned buildings, you gotta get permission. Your parks have to be properly posted. If they are not properly posted, you can carry in them. But proper posted, 36 by 48. Same thing here, every entrance and exit. So what I mean, like with parks and events, where people drive in and where people walk in. I don't mean that park or that event has to be littered with signs around the whole place, everywhere, all right? It's the main entrances of the park or the event. So where the people turn in and out, or where the people drive in and out, where the people walk in and out. That's what I mean by every entrance and exit. Here we're gonna have three inch black letters, no concealable weapons allowed. That verbiage doesn't change. Now instead of one inch, they're three inch. Now my circle is gonna be 34 inches in diameter. Right, still lower left from upper right. The lines on that circle and slash can only be two inches wide, still red or black, and a black silhouette, silhouette of a handgun inside that circle, and they'll be 40 to 96 inches off the ground. Now I'll be honest, with this outside stuff, even if they fake these signs, they might not be at every entrance and exit, they might not be right sizes and stuff or colors, more than likely they're gonna have cops or security waiting to wand you at the gate before you walk or drive, or before you walk in. All right, so every entrance and exit has gotta have these signs. So let's go through and let's look at some of these. I'm gonna, before I start, I'm gonna just kind of let you process. Remember kind of what we went over is you need to rewind it a little bit, rewind it a little bit, and take a look. But this is not a correct sign. No concealed weapons. What was that verbiage? No concealable weapons allowed. Now the colors of the circle and slash are correct. But the slash should be going this way, 45 degrees from horizontal. So it should be going from left to right, not right to left. The handgun is the correct handgun, but it's outside the circle. See, we're outside the circle here. We're outside the circle here. It's gotta be inside that circle. This is the sticker that I'm talking about that is not valid. So what I mean is, is do I have a way to measure that this is eight by 12? No, I can't measure that that's eight by 12. That's where each individual piece is peeled off and stuck on. So another thing to think about when you're walking up to a business, is the sign eight by 12? So if you saw my provision video, I talked about with the publicly owned buildings, does someone's tax money fund this building? is the sign eight by 12. Because most places don't do their research. Yes, I'm talking about the majority of you business owners out there that just slap whatever up. There is a proper sign you have to have up. If you don't, I'm coming in with my gun on, but again, you have the right to ask me to leave or go put it back in my vehicle. But please do the proper research because most of you don't print it on a regular printer. That's eight and a half by 11 paper, not eight by 12. 
So think about what I've already discussed. So I remember one of those questions was, does someone's tax money fund this building? So this is a place where you got to get permission. Again, go check out my video for the permission places if you have not watched it, but the permission places can have the wrong sign or no sign at all because you got to get permission. So that's why I was talking about these questions. Does someone's tax money fund the building? Is the sign eight by 12? Oh, y'all really studying this one now. I'm kind of here to see those gears turning. So here's what I will tell you. Most, well, majority of businesses, the door handles are three and a half feet off the ground. 40 to 60 inches is three to five feet. So we're within that reason. But now if you're six foot, it's at your eye level, that's not where it's supposed to be, 40 to 60 inches. So we can see no concealable weapons allowed, circle slash black silhouette on the side of it. Now, before I took this picture, I will tell you, I did go up and measure this out, everything measured out correctly. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. It's off the door because I know this business, sometimes I've been up there and they've had their door propped open. So if the sign's on the door, the door's propped open, that's not clearly visible, but it's within reason. Now, if this sign was like way over here, how do I know it's not for the business next to it? So within reason. All right, but now what I will say, after I measured and I took my picture to put in my slideshow here and use, for examples, I drove around behind the building. What do they not have on their employee door in the back? Every entrance and exit, whether you use it or whether your consumers use it or not. Yes, if there's five doors, there's five signs. If there's 100 doors, there's 100 signs. If there's 500 doors, there's 500 signs. Every entrance and exit. So there's, there's your third question to think about. Is the sign on every door? So there's your bigger ones. We can see back here, there's a fair going on. We can see right here, people are walking out. So there's an exit. And again, even if they fake this, there's probably gonna be cops or security waiting on you when you get to the gate. So just a little pop quiz here. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, look at that. Here it is in Spanish, all right. But I'm gonna back up real quick. See how this muzzle's pointing at me? This muzzle's pointing away? That does not matter. So what I mean is, is that handgun can face to the left, all right? Or it can face to the right. That does not matter, left or right inside the circle. All right, it just can't go up or down. It can't do up or down, it's gotta go left or right. With all that being said, can I carry into a business that's not properly posted? Yes. They have the right to ask you to leave or go put it in your vehicle. If they are properly posted, will you be able to go in and get permission? Yes. All right. There's those three questions. If you remember these three questions, they will help you out. All right. Does someone's tax money fund this building? Is the sign eight by 12? Is it on every door? Again, for all you keyboard warriors before you start, I'm only telling you what the legal system says. It's not a constitutional system. You're on your own. I shouldn't say you're on your own. You can get a lawyer, but you gotta prove it in court. This is what the law says. Society has not collapsed. All right? I hope this helps everybody with the proper signs. It has to be this to the T. There's no give or take. If you have questions, reach out to me. If I'm tied up with a class or working with a client, just bear with me, I will get back to you. If you see a sign that you're not sure about, my contact information is on my website and all over my social media stuff. Take a picture, send it to me. I'll tell you yes or no. But again, if I'm tied up with a client or working with a class, it might take me a minute to get back to you once I get a break or something. 
but I always feel free to reach out to me. I will have helpful information in the description as well as all over my website. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead, trained to live. See you on the range.